Hello and welcome to Chaz Tastic Gaming. I'm Chaz Tastic and today I'm playing Streets of Rage Remake. Now this was a fan-made remake that was a project that we're working on, uh, that Bomber Games were working on until recently, and then Sega pulled the plug. Very, very strange move on their part, but hey, um, this is essentially what it does is that it combines all the best elements of one, two, and three. And you can actually switch different, like we're in the options menu at the moment, you can pick your different, your difficulties, your life counts, um, damage between players, star moves. Um, and this is the interesting part, the weapon type. Do they, will the weapons behave the same the way they did in Streets of Rage 1, 2 or 3? Um, I'm going to keep 2 because it's most my favourite. Meter type, combo style, jump style. Um, death style, you can actually change it between the original and the remake version. Use guns, no, because it wasn't. I'm going to leave it as no. Um, so yeah, there is quite a... And there's also new features it adds as well. It combines all three stories. And we'll just play a little bit of it and we'll kind of show you guys what we mean. You can actually pick through a multitude of different characters. Um, other characters are unlockable. You collect money while you play and you can unlock them um, through... And it's, it does promote more playthroughs. And if you listen to that mu music... Give me one moment, sorry. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, went and forgot to actually put the music on so you guys could hear how the awesome remix tunes in this game. So, um, I will pick Axel because he is the main guy after all. Oh, and there's cutscenes as well in this version, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really care too much about cutscenes. That's not why you play the Treats of Rage. So, you have a couple of different start points that you can pick from. Now, this is Streets of Rage 1, that's uh, Streets of Rage 2. Now I don't remember that much about Streets of Rage 3, so I'm not sure which of these actually is starts at the Streets of Rage 3 level. Never really, really played that one too much, wasn't a massive fan of it. So one of these is original and one of these is Streets of Rage 3. So just for the sake of it, because it was my favourite, I'm going to start with the Streets of Rage 2 route. And we come into this, there we go. Now over here, there's an extra life, as there always has been in Street of Rage 2. I think I'm gonna use the D-pad for this, makes it a little bit easier. The tunes are absolutely amazing, especially the remixed versions. And the animations are so much more flu uh, so much more fluid. Uh, fluid. Ah, dunk. And you got reflections and everything in the windows. Oh, it's so pretty! Okay, there we go, you're done. I can't believe this. It's really strange that Sega did decide to um, did decide to make the make Bomber Games put an end in this because um, they were because um, this was around about the same time that the Sonic CD uh, remake. Now, I didn't actually realise that it was a complete rebuild. I thought it was a port of the original se the Sega CD that was released on XBLA and it's also available on Steam. I thought that that was just a port, but it turns out it was a complete rebuild that was originally, a pro originally being done by a fan, and then Sega just basically hired him. Why did they not do that with this? Because there's so much awesome content in this. Uh, how do I throw this again? There's so much awesome content in this that just should have been... Again, this is this is not in the original. So... We get this small, like... So there's a sniper up there that we've just got to avoid. Now, again, in Streets of Rage 2, you weren't able to run like that. That was, a street, that was only added in Streets of Rage 3. As my friend says, how much does that sound like he says, rent a car? A 
I love Streets of Rage so much. Whoa! Now, my main character of choice normally in Streets of Rage 2 was um, Max. One of the best things about Max was if you had a weapon like that, that metal pole there, you actually had so much reach in front of and behind you. And um, you would actually better stand in facing away from somebody if you wanted to hit them quickly. So, uh, question of the day. Who is your character in Streets of Rage? Uh, so yeah, I do recommend any, any Streets of Rage fans out, fans out there, get on the Bomber Games website, download this. It is free. That's what Sega get. I would have gave them money for this. If they had simply just cut a deal with Bomber Games, Sega would have some more of my money. But no, they didn't. Oi! Oi! Okay. Why signal? Okay. Red, yellow, red. Uh, red, yellow, green is the word I'm looking for. Again, small little features. If you if you do remember the original game, expect this to surprise you on many different occasions. We get to show one of the cool new features in the the bar as well. No, I didn't need that just now. I'm gonna knife you, knife crime. Make it stop. It's monotonous, isn't it? Oh no, he's a little bit smarter than that, apparently. A little bit too smart for me. Okay, come on, Jack. What's up, Jack? You don't know Jack. I need to stop with the puns, they're not very good. Get off my face! Yeah, in the door, in the door. There we go. So we're into the bar. So I mentioned before that there's branching paths. The branching paths actually exist within the within the levels, which is pretty cool. Oi. So there's a point in this level that gives us the option to go up some stairs that actually do exist in the original background of the game, um, but there was exactly that. There was background. They've added their own original levels here, which have incorporated some of the background sets as ways to access them. So that set of stairs was always there, but you were never given this at all. Spoke too soon. I have only played this once or twice, um, not played it all the way through yet, which I might do for the channel, I'm not sure yet. At the moment we're just getting through the first level, kind of showing you guys how awesome this is. All the new animations, all the new... Okay, so... For the purposes of the game, we're going to go forward, but it does give us the option to go upstairs, which was never an option before. Okay, I forgot which, which buttons I'd assigned for my backwards attack. Oh, he moved me. Oi! Get out my way. I'll tell you something, right? I don't care how many people he's ta uh, how many people he's killed or how many people he's taken out. If he spilt my pint, I'd be after him. Kind of spam this move. As long as we do this at the right timing, she'll never hit us. Any veteran player will know this. But you will know that there's certain characters in the game that actually will not... Uh, well, Streets of Rage 2 when I say that, that I'm talking about. Certain characters actually avoid you from doing that. For example, I forget his name, but the wrestler, um, the, the big wrestler boss and um, Bear Jr. does not allow you to do that. Okay, 
So this is Barbon, who's gonna introduce to us, uh, let, let me show, he might let us show, yep. If you get thrown, before you land, if you press up, if you press up and jump and hold both of those buttons before you land, you will land on your feet every time. So you do not take any damage for the throw. Go, rent my cars. Ah, in the face. Get here. And landed on my feet. Another move that's not in the original Streets of Rage 2, double tap up and down. Oh, you little... I'm not losing my life in the first level. Well, he's not making it easy. Oh, nice try. There we go. So that was the first level, well, the first level in the Streets of 2 level arc of the Streets of Rage remake. I'm going to be honest, where's he go? We know that you're working for Mr. X, tell us what you know. No! I, I need the money, please, I will tell you where the trucks are taking the merchandise. Mm. So some Turks are taking some merchandise. So they're taking them to stage two. And on that note, well that's fantastic. Uh, if you guys want me to play some more of this, please uh, feel free to leave it in the comments or leave a leave a thumbs up if you uh, leave a thumbs up as well if you uh, if you uh, if you like the beat 'em up games. Anyway, on that note, I've been Chaz Tastic of Chaz Tastic Gaming, and you have a fantastic day. Bye.